they kind of always look at it is that every time you come across a problem you don't know how to fix and you work out how to do it that's not a bit of knowledge you've amassed yeah it? yeah there isn't much that beats me now tiling tiling i'm shit at tiling yeah <laughs> Is it and where's it come from? This I don't know where it came from. It's a 1938 Nash Ambassador, I think it's called. An Ambassador 6 Twin Spark. I don't know why they did that. Right hand drive, original right hand drive came from RPM Automobiles Limited, Berkeley Square, West One. Sold to missionaries for Auburn, Cord and Nash cars. And it had some god awful wiring in it. So just trying to get all the wiring sorted out. Because they'd added switches and bits and rubbish everywhere. We know it runs alright, I've had it running. What kind of engine's got it? Overhead valve, straight six. Um, but it's got like the twin spark ignition. Don't ask me why they did it, but so you've got two coils and two plugs per cylinder. So you've got six this side and six the other side. It's quite funky. Is there any benefit for having that? Uh, I suppose you're getting more spark in there. Yeah. And what would the result of more spark be? Generally easier to start. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this turns over ever so slow and it just catches and goes, you know. Um, but like I say, just trying to work all the wiring out at the moment. It's got giant yellow indicators. Front and rear. Oh, yeah. Which I don't think are original. <laughs> it didn't have indicators. But the light switch is playing up, so I've got to just pop that apart. You've taken out a bit of wiring then? Yeah, that was uh, all surface to requirements. And What's the reason for excessive wiring that people do? Is it because they leave old wiring in? or? Yeah, everything's left in. People don't understand the circuit system, yeah. you know. Um, whereas you can, you can make... The classic ones on fiberglass cars because you have to run earth to everything you can see some real major league mess ups in them so we've got to try and take this switch apart just to clean it up inside i'm sure it'll be full of rubbish there's a bit missing there should be another fuse on here which is why they put another fuse box on the bulkhead Right, I'm going to try and lever it up gently because I've got a bit of break in these things. Right, that'll only go in one way. It's not actually that bad, is it? taught you about electrics then? I sort of did it myself really. Is it just something you've sort of amassed over time? Yeah, I, when Dad had... Did he have a TVR that I did? No, it was my TVR. I made, that's the first one I've made, the wiring loom for the green TVR I had. Yeah, just, again, just years of doing it, you know what I mean? Yeah, they kind of always look at it, is that every time you come across a problem you don't know how to fix and you work out how to do it, that's not a bit of knowledge you've amassed, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, there isn't much that beats me now. Tiling? Tiling, I'm shit at tiling, yeah. <laughs> so that was like that. That went like that. Yeah, that's it. So I guess with things like switches, if the component parts aren't broken, it's normally just down to contact. Yeah, dirt and contact, yeah. That one. Right, let's go see what we've got. There's live in. There's side lamps. Side lamps. No headlamps. 
headlamps, backlights still on, front side lamps out. Let's put this back the way it was. That one. And that one. Let's see what we got. Bolts. Nothing there. That's dead and all. What's going on, man? So you get an old car in like this and the wiring is being adapted, changed, upgraded. Yeah. Where do you start? Start with from the battery? Start with your battery. I, t I generally, I tend to cut out anything that's been added. Yeah. Because the only stuff that would have been added, added is if a certain part of the wiring loom is broken or they've put indicators in it or air horns or whatever they decide to put in it so just cut all that crap out yeah and start with your basic wiring loom which is again what i've done here um this isn't genuine but i've got to leave it because there should be another fuse on the switch but it's broken and then you trace from your ignition switch you'll have a live power coming off your starter solenoid generally that goes to one side of your ammeter out of your ammeter will then go to your ignition switch out of the ignition switch will then feed all your circuits okay so providing you've got that then you've got half a chance of getting stuff working what's um with old wiring what's the likelihood of the wiring being frayed shot and all the rest pretty high yeah especially with this cloth bound stuff but if it is that that is the case then you just like if it's broken we know it works from power to the switch we know that works yeah we know it works from there to there. Yeah. So we know that works. So if there's a problem, it's between here and here. Okay. So you just take out the bit of wiring that doesn't work and rewire it. So you can check the wiring in stages then? Yeah, generally, yeah. And then it's just eliminating, finding the weather, where the problem is and potentially yeah. just swapping it out. Yeah. What, why not just rip everything out and start again? Or is that just financially not worth? Um, if you're going to keep the car, I'll definitely do it. Yeah. Definitely. But this is just to get it going, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you'll spend more time faffing around with it than you will just pulling it out and doing it again. But yeah. Tis that one. So that was just a bad connection, dirty connection. Yeah. Nice, that ain't working. Basically, these contacts are so old and rickety. I think what I have to do is just remove that. Just put one of the, you know, like I call them chalky connectors. I don't know what they're called. You know, the white ones with the two wiring connectors in them, the bars, the strips. All oh, right, yeah, 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 I know you. I'll just put one of those in there because all of these connectors are just bollocks, basically. Yeah. So it's not doing you any favours, is it? you won't ever clean them up if you spent hours and hours and hours cleaning them up you'd do it but you haven't got the time to do it so it's just a matter of just wire it all up so you might get away when the ends are cut off of these wires and you expose nice clean bits yeah. of wire you'll probably be okay you won't have to do the runs but it's just the connectors on the ends they've all had it so 
you'll be there forever and ever in a day cleaning that lot up. Yeah. So it really isn't worth it. So we just put a block on there or a round junction box or whatever, you know, and just tidy it all up. Yeah, you've got to make the decision at some point, aren't you really? Yeah, you're just chasing your tail, cleaning stuff. It's actually nice to keep it all original, but you're not going to. So it's a bit beyond that anyway, what's been done to it already. So. Next week on The Workshop. So 1945 WL, civilian model. Hence not, being 1945, not a lot of chrome parts on it at all. It looks very good, nice restoration. They never made blue in 1945. It would have been grey, it's the only colour they did. But 46 they did Skyway blue, or whatever it is. <laughs>